I wanted to do a little talk about how our thoughts can be very kind of muddy and like this slipping sliding sea of negativity and it's very hard to drag yourself out of it um, unless you can deliberately focus them and I think speaking out loud is the easiest way for me to focus my thoughts into happiness and, uh, and this is an example. So everything I'm going to say now is in my head. This is my thoughts. Mm. So, so I can see I'm, I can see I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a bad place at the moment. What can I do about it? I want to, I want to be happier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find some techniques. I know I've got lots of techniques. So why, have, if I've got all these techniques I could use, why have I not learnt this yet? Surely it's easy. What's the matter with me? Why can't I? Oh no, I'm still in a bad mood. I can't wait. So I'm going to meditate maybe? Oh, I don't feel like meditating. Um, I'm going to focus on positive aspects. That's one of the main things. See, it's so easy. I just wish... I, I'm getting a bit bored of focusing on positive aspects. I just wish I could be happy. Why, why can't I do that? It's just... Oh, life is hard. Why is life so hard? And that sort of thing. Which is pr a pretty accurate description of how my mind works sometimes. But lately, it's getting easier because I'm starting to take the opportunity when I see the moment of... When I see that I am in a low vibration, that's the gateway, and I take the opportunity to kind of take the reins. One metaphor is that there's this slipping, sliding sea which is flowing towards a negative place because that's where it normally goes, it flows downhill. Another metaphor is a horse. It's like this horse that will automatically go all over the place but not where you want it to go, which is the, the happy direction, unless you jump on it and take its reins. And that's what I, I feel like it is when you speak out loud. Because when you speak out loud, it's really only one thought that is being focused on at a time. You string those thoughts together and they can be one happy sentence, another happy sentence, another happy sentence. And by doing that, without this unnecessary, oh I've got to try and be happy now, okay I'm going to try and find, just do it. Absolutely quickly, just do it. Okay, right. Am I enjoying this view enough? Yes, I'm enjoying it enough. This is a great view. I've, I'm always enjoying a thing this enough. I'm good at this. I'm learning this. There's so many good things for me to focus on. The sky is misty, but that's good because it's not sunburning me. And also, I feel like I'm in a, like in a ghost story because the mistiness over the sea. And I am, I've got a day off. I'm not having to work. I'm, I'm, I, I've got this time off to really enjoy myself and do what I want. And I love this. This is what I've been wanting for so long and I've got it. Ah, oh, wonderful. I love it. Uh, I'm balancing this camera on my, on my red bike. I really love this bike that I've bought. It, it's, uh, it's setting me up fine. And, you know, there's lots of things I could focus on in my life. Just breaking the happy thoughts. I could focus on the fact that I haven't really got a particularly steady job. I haven't got a huge amount in my bank account. I haven't... Um, all these other things but there's no need for me to ever focus on those because I can put it this way I love the fact I am flexible with my career and I have I work some days and some days I get to do my own things and I've got the space to be creative and I've got the space to be gently moving and molding my 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 profession my career into exactly the direction I want it to be and I can feel it happening and it is happening and that's wonderful and I am so rich I can eat what I want I can I can have a day off when I want I can I can go I'm going on on on, on a break this weekend I can go on a break I can I can do I can do all these things I am so rich and I'm so privileged to live in a society where I can I can pick and choose from the things that I that I want. I have the, the abundance to do that. I am so rich. I am so rich. I love my life so much. And I'm just looking around. So I've got this bike. I've got this beautiful 
countryside around me. I've got the sea there. I live by the sea. I live in, in one of the best cities in my view. The best city. I love Brighton so much. I love my life. I love my life. This is, this is fantastic. Everything. I'm so happy I discovered all the different things. I'm so happy I discovered Abraham Hicks and Eckhart Tolle and everything non-duality, everything, everything has all worked together to bring me here right now in this place which is perfect and it always is even though I know there may be moments where I can't perceive it as perfect it still is and it's still possible for me to get back there Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm buzzing and everyone, if you're watching this video, every one of you can be buzzing in the same way if you just start to talk through those thoughts and if you don't like talking through the thoughts you can write down the thoughts or type the thoughts or if you're good at focusing in your mind you can you can um, mentally go through the thoughts but just do it because every moment the chance is there to move it back in a positive direction every moment so there's no need to be unhappy. Circumstances don't make us unhappy. We could be the poorest person in the world and I've seen children in Cambodia without clothes dancing in the rain as joyously as you could, you could imagine someone could be. And I've seen very, very rich, very, very miserable, dissatisfied people. Joy is our natural state. If we just make the choice to head towards it, it quickly becomes habitual. And soon we find that we're there the majority of the time. So, when you notice yourself heading into that negative murk and thinking, oh, I should do something now to change this, do it. Find a quiet corner and talk to yourself. Or get your phone out and, and type a note on your phone about some happy things. Take the positive stance, the positive perspective. It's not airy fairy, head in the clouds, Pollyanna thinking. It's heading back to our natural state. And it feels so good when you're there that you know it's home. That was the, the bike. Somewhere over there is the sea, but you can't see it, but you know it's there. Goodbye.